I hope this reading finds you well. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. This isn't a personal reading, this is a collective reading. So the chances of everything resonating with you isn't that likely, but it has been known. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Had a good Thanksgiving. Looking forward to December. This is your December reading um, that I'll be posting at the beginning of December. These cards have been very sticky today. And I wasn't actually going to work with them at first because they were so sticky. But then actually I thought, well, hang on a minute. Maybe they're sticky for a reason. Maybe they're just sticking. So there was a rainbow this morning when I woke up as well. It was sunny and raining at the same time. Okay, Virgo. Let's rock and roll. Ooh. Wow, I've never had a reading with so many low numbered cards. That's a first. So that's nice. I like firsts. And variety is the spice of life. And if music be the food of love, play on. Interesting. 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 Wow. So we've got two twos, Virgo. Might mean something to you. Four of swords resting. So that is in your environment. So I'm going to come to that first, because if if the four swords is in your environment, possibly the first thing you should be doing is taking care of yourself, getting good rest. Now we have the hangman. So she has a blindfold on, but and he is hanging upside down to gain illumination. So your crossing energy is definitely going to help you out. You 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 are not going to be in the dark anymore about this situation, Virgo. A beginning, a beginning of love. This cup is constantly being refilled, so this is a symbol of your cup overrunneth with love. Sneaky energy in the past there. Sneaky. Foundational energy in the future there. Another four, so we've got two fours. Fascinating. Your outcome, though, you might find yourself defending yourself at the top of a hill. You might find yourself defending your position, defending the, the, the decisions that you're going to be making to people who know you, possibly loved ones, possibly family and friends. That's what I'm getting there. Victory at the bottom of the deck. Clarification on the Five of Swords. Please, for my Virgo. Please. Thank you. That was the one. Ah, the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, the message I am getting, so I, I, I don't want to have to say it, but I'm going to because it is what I'm getting. It is what I'm channeling. With this here and that there, it could be that someone nicked quite a lot of money from you, Virgo, and it left you with less. It left you with only four pentacles instead of ten, instead of the best abundance card in the deck. The tree of life, that's what is on that. That's the tree of life there from the Kabbalah. I don't think I've ever said that before, but I've known I, I've known that for donkey's years. Um, 
go and go and maybe read up about the tree of life maybe i'm i'm getting that message so i'm saying it out loud Whew. clarification on the four please waiting okay I wouldn't I wouldn't be worrying if someone has been taking if someone has if someone if someone has had their hands in your cookie jar but you haven't been watching it's coming back it's the feeling I'm getting so I'm saying it the were yes that is telling me that exactly what I just said is right and you now have two aces and I love to see that. Best hand in Texas Holden. And you might not win with it. <laughs> Sorry, that, 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 that is not relating to this reading. So the three of pentacles come out near the two and... Wow! <laughs> This energy loves showing up. <laughs> okay, so we've got a bit of the Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the pack, but he does get there. But he can be a bit, where is that Knight of Pentacles? I ordered that two years ago and he still hasn't got here. So are you, con are you have you been waiting a very long time, Virgo, have you? Your knight is coming, have faith. To help you with this situation. Yes, the other sneaky line cheating stealing card. Along with the five of swords there. The seven of swords. I oh, know that the spirit is telling me that does not go up there. That doesn't go up there. It goes here. He is defending you and the king of swords. They're defending you from this in the future. So is temperance. Can I have a clarify for the two of coins? That is the one that wanted to... Okay, yes. Inner, inner growth, spirituality, going inside, into the subconscious. Possibly through meditation. Okay, Virgo. Right. I never thought that I would actually get into a situation where I'd actually be able to do these readings at night because the lighting is so bad in this room. Um, even with, I have got lights up. I mean, I have got, I've got a light on the camera. I've got, there's a light here and there is a light over there plus the actual room lights and you would have thought, and then the problem is the glare. I can't, there's, there, you know. If I, what I would have to do is hold one of those, you know, one of those lighting screens that you actually see at a photo shoot with white light there. If I, that is sort of a semi permeable membrane, so some of the light goes through it. So some of the light will osmosize through the semi permeable membrane. If you understand what I'm saying, I think you are. I think you do, Virgo. I think you're very clever. Light is information. Two pages. So always remember to not neglect that inner child that we all have. It doesn't matter how old you are. Often uh, on the route of spirituality, on that path, um, one of the key things on the spiritual path is getting in touch with the way that those joyful moments that you had as a child and remembering the way you were as a child to let go of the things that have started to attach themselves to you through life the parasitical energies that have because that that happens to everyone basically yes see what i'm saying What a time to pull that card out, considering what I was saying there. Oh, I love tarot. Okay, can we have 
One final card for my Virgo, please. Look out for this in the future. But considering you've got the star here, this is this this card can be quite good. I mean, I quite like the uh, Seven of Wands. The reason I like the Seven of Wands is because it's a uh, you are you are boss enough to to fend off many people in in one go, like some sort of action hero. Okay. Action hero. <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. Oof. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I think you're going to... I think, yes, it's the inner child message that I was talking about to help you get over this past grief. I mean, that is, pr out of all the cards, that represents grief. Just straight up grief, more than any. Loss. More than any. May we have a card, please, to just go underneath the star there, please. Just a little bit more info on that star card, please, for my Virgo. Thank you. A little bit more info on the star card for my Virgo would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, pre-Empress energy. Yeah. So you're going to be able to be a very independent person. Notice that we've got the Ten of Pentacles here and the Nine over there. Which isn't necessarily the order that you, you know, it would... Some might think it would be better to have the 9 there and the 10 there because there's a progression and a going up in value. But I think that 10 related to... that. That's what troubled me with this reading. I can't, I can't sugarcoat it. It's If people have been lying and cheating, stealing, robbing from you, then you then it, it, it could have been quite a lot. Possibly your energy, poss possibly your straight-up money. That is what that is telling me. And then to get that there... Eesh. So it was so good to see a new beginning with the Temperance and the Hanged Man and the Ace of Cups here. And these oh, three aces. Can we have one final card, please, for my Virgo? To send them on their merry December way. One more card, please, for my Virgo, please. Okay. Well, that's absolutely amazing. I think I've almost had the Judgment card in every reading so far. And I can see underneath this Judgment, the Devil card's there. Ah! Well, let's take that as that is. Let's just... <laughs> down with that Devil, down with that toxicity. Judgment coming in on that to toxicity. Okay. So if you... If you do have any habits that you need to let go of, now's the time to let go of them. Okay? Nothing to worry about? All is absolutely fantastic. Remember, tarot is potential energy. Tarot doesn't control your life. You do. And on that note, take care, my Virgo. Peace be the journey, lots of love. Bye. Grab it up.